Hello everyone, and Happy New Year. And it was like five days after New Year, and I kind of wanted to talk about my New Year's. Because it was pretty scary. I had a, I had a problem going on in my system. A little bit of technical issues. And it was the worst experience I probably went through in a very, very long time. I recently, we kind of made this into like a fakeish, realish name because it's not a real thing. But the way that I'm going to explain this, it's going to sound like it should be a real thing. So if you guys don't know that there is about 65% of the world population that has even the slightest bit of lactose. Um, <clears throat> issues, aka lactose intolerant, and my New Year's from I want to say around the day after Christmas or two. I forgot exactly when this started, but I had a, a little too much lactose. I had a little too much cheese for my system. Since I am lactose intolerant, I can't have a lot of milk. I can have very, very minimum of my father's milk because he has 2% milk, but I can still drink it. I just can't have like more than this. But that's besides the point. For myself, I have been one of those people that are lactose and I'm, I'm like, I don't want cheese. I don't want cheese. Everything that I have cannot have cheese. And I thought that the soup that was that I was eating didn't have cheese in it because it was very liquidy. It was very it wasn't thick, it wasn't like it didn't look like it would have cheese in it. Goes to find out the liquid was basically created by the melted cheese in it. And you guys are asking me, what the hell is this soup you keep talking about now? It was a thing called <clears throat> a buffalo chicken style, um, I think it was lasagna soup. And I had too much of it. And when it was all digesting in my system... I was digesting it for so long, my body was trying to digest all of it, <clears throat> and basically my bis my entire body shut down for two days straight to the point where this is the name of what was going on. I had a lactose paralyzed shock. Basically, I was bed rested, couldn't move, couldn't do barely anything. My my voice sounded like I was a robot, and I couldn't do literally anything. And it was scary as hell. And I almost cried a few times, saying, "Am I gonna be stuck like this for a week?" Because it was. It felt like the days were just dragging. <laughs> and that's why I didn't get my video out <clears throat> that I wanted to get out for New Year's because I couldn't even make it. <laughs> but I do have a lot of things planned. As I promised, that if I could not get it out, anything out last month during December, my beginning of my New Year's resolution was to do what I could. And I'm going to live up to that. And I already have half of my stuff planned. Half of my stuff done. And you guys are going to get spammed by many, many videos in the upcoming weeks. Oh, hi. How you doing? But, um, this is the one I wanted to start with because... This was my 
New Year's. This was my holiday. And the day of Thanksgiving was the day that I was really like, and I'm talking about Thanksgiving for a second, because this is where I'm like, I needed to start being careful with everything. And then a whole another month goes by, Christmas comes along, and I'm looking back on Thanksgiving, and I'm like, I can't go through that again. And then my mother buys this soup that tastes so good. And I, I loved it because I, I physically can't have, I can't have a normal lasagna. I have to make it, I have to know what that I'm making it, and that's how I enjoy my lasagna. So my mother wanted to buy something that seemed like it wouldn't harm me. And theoretically it didn't, and it did at the same time. It's just that my body couldn't contain draining itself so much to digest the stuff that it just doesn't, can't comprehend. And that's what happened. Basically, I drained my entire body of all of its energy and I was bed rested for like two days straight because I ended up going to bowling the following day didn't realize I wasn't compatible enough to do that in my dedication to my own sport got to me and I forced myself to go to bowling and for the first time in like 13, 14 years out of my 16 years of bowling, I couldn't even pick up my own bowling ball. And I felt like I'm going to have to start all over. Somehow I managed to pull off the last, the last game and make up for what I've made or my, my mistakes that I've made throughout the two games. But it took three games just to get back up and running. You, you guys don't understand the the process I had to go through to get my entire body 240 pounds of weight to get my energy back up <laughs> so you guys you guys know what G, G fuel is right I didn't I couldn't use this even though it's an energy booster, I couldn't use this. This this was literally useless. I had to literally drink like seven bottles of like this big of bottles in like a whole day just to, uh, or a whole bottle of something like this big of um, Gatorade. Not the, not the gallon ones, like this next size down I had to drink like seven of those just to get my body like waking up because we didn't understand what was going on we had to try everything I bed rested myself for one day I had to smash myself with like seven things of Gatorade for the electrolytes to get my energy going and then after that I had to wait another day and that was like another half a day process so we're looking at like a 64 hour process to get me back up and running. Like I, this, this was like five days ago and I'm still slowly comprehending what the fuck happened to me. So I wanted to get something out two days ago and I couldn't do it. I literally couldn't do it. I always have something planned to get something out for my channel and something horrible fucking happens to me. I'm just so glad I got some of the things done early before something bad happened to me. So expect something in like two days. I'm definitely going to plan something that can be the entire week except for the weekend because that's going to break my habit and I don't want that. So. Between the day that the day that I release this, meaning it's gonna be on the fifth, which is the day I'm making it, 
And then I'm going to make two more things be scheduled for this week. So I have three things going. And then next week, I'm going to try my best to schedule something week long for five days in a row. Because this is my month to shine, and I'm not backing down on it. I will dedicate myself to do something, even in the darkest times. Even if it's a freaking video talking about how bad I'm going, or my, my emotions are pushing me. I don't care. I'm going to do something. But besides that, guys, I'm sorry if this if this story is traumatizing in a way, but I really need to talk about my experience. I it, I've I've had the flu. Like that was crazy back 6 years ago cuz that was my only time I've ever had the flu. But this, on the other hand, think about having the flu, but on fucking steroids. Because you get... Like, I thought I was fine at my friend's house. I thought I was perfectly okay. No. Not even close. Like, two hours after I got there, I couldn't think. My body started to slowly shut down. And that's when the process started to fucking hammer me. It was starting to just drain me. I was to the point where I told them, you guys enjoy the movies. I'm walking home. Because if I was, because I'm telling myself, if I was to take that joyride to, for them to drop me off, I don't know if I was going to be able to get out of the freaking car. And that was like a, a five minute drive. I needed to keep myself going. Because... If I didn't, I would have shut down. In the moment I got home, the process of, of me trying to regain my, my, my entire body back up and running, I passed out at 7, woke up at 11 the next morning, and I couldn't, I couldn't stop sleeping. I literally, my body was done. And keep in mind, this is after like the, the two two days three days of tr just pumping my body to digest all the lactose I will never underestimate cheese ever again I will never touch something that I've never ate in my entire life because I can have hard cheese I just can't have like the yellow hard or the um, orange American cheese and which is the white cheese I uh, there's a lot of white cheese out there but you guys know what I'm talking about I can have that I cannot have melted cheese unless it's a pizza with something on it just so that my body can digest two things at once I'm weird everybody's weird when they have their different types of lactose but it's just there's just so much fucking rules of lactose oh my god Fuck. And now, <clears throat> and now my friends know that I now have something severely wrong with me. <laughs> they always were like, what's gonna hurt, what's not gonna hurt you? It's cheese, it's not gonna harm you too much. Goes to find out, this is their experience that I had. And they heard how bad I sounded. They were like, no, don't worry, it's just a cold. <laughs> No! <laughs> At first I thought I had a cold, but no, it wasn't. It was something worse than that. I could, I haven't had COVID yet. <laughs> I haven't had the, the, the uh, winter cold yet. I've, it's like, the worst things that could happen to me right now, besides having COVID, I'm being hammered with. <laughs> extreme depression I've now gone through my my the worst thing I could have gone through with lactose um let's see here I had I had a common cold which was something that I was able to pump through and push through without having to be bed rested guys you you don't 
understand my life right now. Like, oh my fucking god. <laughs> I can't keep rambling. You guys probably do understand, and it's 100% understandable. But everybody goes through things differently. And I have never been best bed rested in six fucking years. And being hammered with that was scary as hell. And I thought my life was... I thought I was on my deathbed. Like, you can't be on your deathbed until you actually are in the process of passing away. But I literally was bed rested to the point where I couldn't fucking move for two days. Two and a half days. Oh my god. I had like a 15 hour um, sleep the following, like the 7 to like t noon the following day was like a 15 hour, 16 hour sleep and I still couldn't wake up. It was like being at a, an, a, an alerted coma. That's what it was. But I'm going to live up to what I'm saying now. It was a lactose paralyzed shock. That's literally what I went through. And I'm going to live up to it. It's not a real thing. And I'm going to make it a thing. But besides that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Catch you guys hopefully real soon. And Ragers, out, guys.